<coughs> better and not as loud as before, but hello fellas! Today I'll be showing you how we prepare macaroni and cheese. Uh, so here are the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna first go over required items. Of course, of course all we need is a, a, a good pan to use. Also, don't forget, we will need some uh, canola oil yeah, for for good for. And if you like garlic, like Wario, garlic powder. And these are some other required items: uh, some milk. Well, oh, you can choose butter if you want, but we choose margarine because it's a cheaper option. Of course, some water and wait, salt. Okay, let's get to starting it. Okay, first thing you'll need to do is fill up the pan. Okie dokie, when your pot is filled just to the right level with water, you put some oil in it. And some salt. Be sure to not put too much salt in it as that could make someone heavily dehydrated. Or just flat out taste bad. And then you turn on the stove top. Be sure to leave this handle out so when it's done you can pour in a strainer. Okie dokie, this is now prepared and now now you just have to set the stove top between between medium and high. <sighs> and then eh, you just wait for it to start boiling. So yeah, when it when it bubbles its steam, that's when we put the pasta in. Well, I'm gonna go watch some Eric Keith while waiting. Da -da -da -da. And when you think you're ready and the water's all boiling, be sure to set the timer for seven minutes. Uh, and in my my case, I set for seven. Uh, I'll set for 7 minutes and 10 seconds because the amount of time it will take for me to pour into the pan and, and uh, well, get back to the stove. So, start. Okay, go ahead and pour it in. And then, you start stirring away. Start stirring. Stirring away. Be sure to change directions randomly. Splish, splash. Be sure to avoid splashing water on yourself because uh, I've done that before and that was painful. Okay. So cook it for seven minutes. Okay. By the time you've reached the seven minute mark, uh, you, you turn off the stove top. Carry it over and carefully pour it in. <coughs> Okie dokie, let's get out some of the. Uh, Mamma mia! Let's get out some of the things needed. Okie dokie, you cut up a few butter with a nice butter knife. Okay, turn around three, and then, and put one in the pasta, into the pasta, there, and then you garlic lovers can sprinkle in a bit of garlic, I, hopefully Wario doesn't smell it, okie dokie, so you got that stuff in, and now, you put the pasta back in. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, be sure to evenly get out. Alright, now time for the best part. You open up this cheese. Okay, I got that open. Okay, we got the cheese in. Okay, that certainly looks good. And then we add the milk. Yep, you add one over four cup of milk. And now it's time to stir it up. Get all the butter, garlic, and cheese and milk in. And the milk is meant to enhance the way the cheese mixes in. And voila! You got yourself a nice pot of macaroni and cheese. Uh, but if you want to do more than one box, it will require a bigger pan and more of the ingredients. Uh, so, yeah, let's get myself a plate. And then, you grab a spoon and you can enjoy your macaroni and cheese. Uh, and yep, this is all the process uh, I did to make this macaroni and cheese. Uh, if you're if you're too scared uh, to make it yourself, you can get a uh, you and if you're well loaded with questions, you can get a uh, friend uh, or family member that uh, is experienced with making this to assist you as you uh, remember the instructions from this video. So yeah, if you if you want to make macaroni cheese this will come in handy if you're new to it so thank you so much for watching there will be more videos soon and i'm gonna enjoy this